speaking about PayPal, so PayPal is launching a new stock, a stock trading platform. Right. And um, it's, uh, so I got a few questions about this, but mm -hmm. before I even go into this, you were talking about, you invested in PayPal today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what's the, why, why PayPal? Because we haven't really been talking about PayPal a lot. We've been talking about a lot of other companies, not PayPal. So, <clears throat> so I have been saying it for maybe 18 months. I've been saying that FinTech is the new way we were about to do business, right? Pay wireless transactions. You just saw that. Like, in, as investors, one of the best things you can do is just pay attention to what's going on in the world. Like, you don't have to look for the next big thing. You could just look for the industry that's becoming it. It's becoming where we're going, where we're headed at. So PayPal have been around for a while, but you consistently see the business evolving, right? And so I'm like, okay. I kept saying like FinTech, FinTech, FinTech. Now Ian says that PayPal is a new JP Morgan. No, Square. Square, Square, Square. 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 Yeah, oh, Square. Yeah, 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 but PayPal is okay, okay. like, yeah, number yeah. two. So yeah. I was looking at PayPal and I was like, okay, like their CEO is dope. Square gets a lot of the attention. Mm -hmm. Square gets a lot of the attention, but we sleep on PayPal. For me, I say people sleep on it. They have a lot of hardware in place, right? Yeah. They have a lot of assets that they have. So I was like, okay. Also, I understood that Robin Hood's name isn't really legit in the world like that. It's a lot of, when I look at Warren Buffett and them, they always say that you got to invest in the business with integrity, right? That's what they say. You got to invest in businesses with integrity. New investors know about Robin Hood, but the integrity ain't there. But the right people not challenging Robin Hood. Like when you look mm -hmm. at a M1 Finance, look at these other businesses, they're not really challenging Robin Hood like that. So when I saw that PayPal, was going to get into that uh, retail trader business. Remember, 10 million new traders came into the market within the last year. 10 million new traders. They're not going to TD Ameritrade. They're not going to E-Trade. They're only getting a few percent because that's more for people who feel like I've been investing for a little while. Mm -hmm. It's convenient. So PayPal is the next thing that I feel like can challenge them. So this morning I was like, all right, well, I had already invested in PayPal. I just put an options contract on it this morning because I already know that FinTech is just an industry that's booming. Like it's booming. Like it's they taking over. I Ian said that Square is the new G. I think that PayPal is the Amazon of FinTech. Ooh, mm. That's heavy. Ooh. That's heavy trap. FinTech. Yeah, I think they're gonna be that. And I love it. Like I love the way Ian thinks because I'm thinking that, yeah. but I'm on the other side. So I'm like, okay, cool. Right, so I feel like they'll be the Amazon of fintech because they got cash. And so what Robinhood dies at is everybody buys, people know that order flow, what well, they don't know. So order flow is how uh, brokers get paid, right? It's the transaction yeah. where they get paid for you making a deal. Now Robinhood says that they don't charge you when actually they charge the most. Mm -hmm. People don't know that. They think you're yeah. getting free, but Robinhood is charging you 17 cents per share. For yeah, you just don't feel the cost, actually. They're, yeah. they're charging you 17 cents. They're actually charging 48 cents per options contract. People don't know that. They think you're trading for free. They made $110 million of their $180 million off of people trading. So if they charge the most, why, do, why are they so popular? Because interface. it's convenient. User interface? It's convenient. Yeah, user interface is beautiful. Interface, yeah, the, the user yeah. interface. So in... When you pull up a TD Ameritrade or E-Trade's mobile app, if you aren't familiar with that, you're like, uh-uh, not uh, uh put that down. You know what I'm saying? When you get on Robinhood, you don't really know too much about investing. All you see is buy, sell. That is all you think you need to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy. So the confetti kind of dope when you buy something too, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's cool. So PayPal, I believe that PayPal have the infrastructure to come in and say, I right, let's play ball this way. And I knew the market was looking for someone to challenge them in that manner. And because I knew that, I was like, man, let me get this this morning. Got it this morning, did 25 contracts, made like $6,000 to be on it this morning. I'm gonna let it ride, you know. <laughs> little light, light, little light. breeze, yeah. $6,000 a day. Uh, you know, it was also, not to cut you off, but what was also important, and I, I, you gave out the statistics, you said 10, new, new, 10 million new investors have come into the market. But what is existing at PayPal is 400 million accounts right now. Yep. 
Yeah. Right? And so when you when you look at it, it just kind of makes sense, right? If you have competitors in the fintech space, you have Square that is already trading at cryptocurrencies, and you can trade mm -hmm. uh, stocks. And Robinhood is already doing it. It was just a matter of time. A matter of time. The, pro the the only thing now is that the process, because it's, it's not like a one two three process. It's not like tomorrow we can just start buying stocks with PayPal. From what I'm reading, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, Ian and Trap, is they actually have to buy a broker dealer, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they already had something in play that they were playing with called Invest PayPal. They just okay. never pushed it. They already had it in place. Yeah. Uh, so now, again, it's like you say, they got to buy that that middle, that missing piece mm -hmm. that'll put them there. But again, they have enough money on the side. This is why we talk about investing in businesses that have cash on the side. Right, that that can make yes. acquisitions like that's important, right? That's that's the quality business that me and Ian talk about. Those businesses that stand strong, right? That have that money on the side, that have those operating cash flows that can pay off debt and still be good. So they have a good cash flow that's sitting on the side, so they can make that. It's, it won't be too hard, but it won't be right away. So I think it'll definitely be a great challenge in that space, man. And it's gonna get interesting. Yeah, the the only thing I'll, I'll say about PayPal is there are customers. This is the big opportunity that they have if their customer experience can be great mm -hmm. they can dominate the space mm -hmm. if you're a business owner and you ever dealt with paypal Ooh. you may have had your account locked up for one yeah. month two yes. eight months yes so imagine if you have yes one thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand in their trading platform and they lock your money up yes some yes. of you gonna want to go to san fran and go to paypal That's and right. ring the ceo's neck but, <laughs> so even though Robin Hood does not provide a great customer experience, you are able to get your money out. And for me, PayPal, when it comes to fintech and digital payments and being able to do transactions online, they are the preeminent leader in that space. And they were like one of the first. It's very hard when people know you for one thing, then to <laughs> jump into another lane and try and dominate that space. But it's smart for them to go for the land grab, try and dominate another sector of the market because they're thinking 10 years down the line and they see the competitive threat just like we do robin hood now has been positioned as a terrible company yeah especially for us yeah which a lot of financial companies they made that propaganda like i said at invest fest like even when there was this big campaign around hill figure being racist most of you don't know that it was another big fashion house that made yep. that up to reposition Hilfiger and affect their sales. Go look at what Tommy Hilfiger sales were in 1996 mm -hmm. and then go see how much money they lost after that statement came out and mm -hmm. Hilfiger never said anything. Mm -hmm. So now has PayPal has a chance to come in, do a great land grab, but the only factor we have to consider here if they'll dominate is if that customer experience is amazing, they can put Robin Hood potentially out of business, but if it's, if it's just as bad, they won't move the needle. Yo, Ian, real quick, real quick, draft. Ian, you, you nailed it, man. When now that you're saying it, I'm actually having flashbacks of having to deal with. Like, could you service. imagine? It was crazy. I had to. I think we I had to wait like seven days to get a response from an email, and then call and wait on the phone for three hours, and then it was the call. They don't even have a callback. You mm -hmm. know, like Verizon, it like we'll call you back within. And you were sending the documents and still have to wait. Like, imagine yeah. you guys <laughs> be, like trap doing 25 <laughs> contracts. Imagine in a year you're up eighty five thousand, and then they're like, well. We're, we're just not going to give you your money. Freeze. <laughs> Go ahead, Trap, my bad. I was just about to say, and on the flip side of that, too, is Robinhood customer service is trash as well. You know Worse, what I'm saying? Arguably. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. And, but with the dope part, what I do think where PayPal can hold up at is, and we'll see, is we've seen Robinhood get overwhelmed and mm -hmm. shut the site down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think PayPal seeing that, and it's just me looking at it from another angle. I'm seeing the same thing. You, yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them seeing it like, okay, here's, and they know they got to fix that part with their customer service, right? Mm -hmm. And especially when you start dealing with retail traders, when you start dealing with more people, but then you already have, like Troy said, you already have 400 million active users. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. That's a huge number. And yeah. That's, that's, that puts them in the running to already. Yeah. It's kind of like you look at a team, you say this team has a better roster on paper, mm -hmm. right? You look at PayPal on paper, they're the better brand ready for this. It's can they execute. 
Yeah. And PayPal, if you need a great customer service experience, you probably should integrate Market Mondays into <laughs> <laughs> Talk to them. Well, the culture. Hey, my graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>